Lower interest rates can lead to lower borrowing costs, affecting loans, mortgages, and even fixed deposit returns. For example, Singapore has seen decreases in fixed deposit yields and government securities, which now yield around 3.1% compared to the previous 3.7% earlier this year. Investors may find equities more attractive, as lower rates often boost stock valuations. Savers could see diminishing returns from savings accounts as banks adjust their rates. Home buyers might benefit from lower mortgage rates, which average around 2.6% now. Moving on to home loans, the scenario is looking slightly more positive. Currently, fixed rate home loans in Singapore average about 2.6%, down from about 3% at the start of this year. This is a move that seems favorable for potential homeowners or those looking to refinance. It might be wise for you to consult with a mortgage advisor on potential savings. The landscape for investors seems to be shifting as interest rates are adjusted. But one thing is for sure, with the lower interest rates, savvy property buyers who have been waiting by the sideline could be poised to act, considering the fact that the real estate market has been rather subdued in 2024 with cautious optimism. Like what I have witnessed over the past 20 years in the real estate industry, there will be buyers who see this early window of opportunity to enter the market. There will be the rest who only act when the majority jump in, resulting in a lift of the seller's sentiments. And there will always be the group that asks what happened. So, which group are you with? My name is PK So from Hutton's and I am always ready to assist. Do get in touch and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.